Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 5th through February 11th. This is intended to be a love reading. I want you to take what resonates and just leave the rest. I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards first for overall energies and then we will break right into the tarot deck. And this is for Gemini in love. Ooh. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. What do you got for Gemini? Now that card can mean so much, so I'm going to wait for more cards to come out, but maybe you need to ask maybe you're going to meet your significant partner through one of your friends i mean that could certainly mean that that could mean you need to get out with your friends maybe you need a time out and you need to hang out with some friends maybe you need their advice maybe you just need to vent whatever the case is let your friends help you oh purpose i know what i am here to do We are going to break right into these. You know, there's a reason for everything. Okay, there's a purpose for everything. And many of you don't know what you are here to do. But that doesn't mean that you don't know who you are. Okay, that doesn't. I think on one hand, you know, because you are... Um, the twins, you know, you might know what you're here to do, but on the other hand, you're like, no, no, I don't, because I know there's something more. I know there's something more. So, you know, that's that duality that is within you. Oh, many of you are reminiscing about the past, perhaps. This is the Six of Cups, so you may be clinging to the past or... There is somebody from your past that you are thinking about. This could this reading could also have to do with children. Okay. Oh, there's been some challenges and you're trying to make a decision. It's like I don't know which way to go. Again, one hand versus the other hand. I mean, it's pretty interesting that I started this out like that, okay? On this hand I want I it's this way, and on this hand it's this way. I mean, that's what's going on here. It's like you really don't know what to do. Okay, and that's why this card came out. You really are going to have to make a decision on which way to go, okay? It seems like things are out of balance for you. Things may, you may be feeling like things aren't blending very well. People aren't making compromises. Maybe you're not compromising. People are not communicating or cooperating and you really don't know what to do. It feels like there could be some addictions here as well. Somebody could be not wanting to realize the truth. Now, this right here is the temperance card, and the temperance card is about purpose. <laughs> no kidding. There's a purpose for everything, and I think that the reason is reverse is because you're not realizing that. That's why this card came out. There's a reason why things happen. And you are being called to realize what that purpose is, even if it hurts. I feel like there's there's something that has had a huge effect on you. And now you're trying to figure out the purpose of it. Why? Why is this happening? And you need to trust, okay? You do need to trust that there is a reason. There's a purpose for this, whatever it is. Um, there's something heavy, 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 heavy. There's a burden that you are carrying around that you don't need to carry, okay? You may feel like you have too many responsibilities and you may be trying to bury those responsibilities, maybe in some addictions or alcohol or 
um, overindulgence, okay? Because it feels like many of you are trying to escape the reality of this truth. There's some kind of truth here that you really don't want to see. And I feel like you, you really have to release this burden and, and accept this. There's a reason for this. There's a reason why this has happened. There is a huge heaviness that you are carrying around with you. You may be feeling like this is too much. This is really too much for me right now. And you may be feeling like you're under attack. You know, maybe your children are attacking you or somebody from your past is attacking you. This is children or somebody from your past and you really don't know what to do. You're just feeling like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Okay, and you're being you're very indec indecisive over it. It's like I know on one hand that I have to do something about this, but on the other hand, I am pretending that everything is just going to get better, and this I'm going to escape to the reality of this by pushing it down and not acknowledging it. And that's why there's this on this hand. On this hand, you're feeling attacked. Somebody is attacking you verbally, mentally, whatever. So that's how you feel. On this hand, I'm going to pretend that it's not really happening. I'm going to bury my emotions and I'm going to just overindulge in any way to escape this reality. But and the, the thing is, is right now you're feeling quite detached. You're dealing with somebody that lacks compassion and perhaps you're lacking compassion too as well because there's no growth here it's like there's no relationship growth because of some kind of perhaps addiction I think there's some kind of addiction here and addictions come in many forms all right and now you're being called to really be grateful for how far you've come as hard as that is as hard as that is to do you need to be grateful. You need to see the finer things in this situation. You can't you can't push it down. You need to you need to switch this up is what I'm trying to say. You need to go through a sort of renewal where you're able to blend these feelings, okay? You're able to blend these opposing elements, okay? You need to really bring out your strength, okay? To blend these two things that are going on. I feel like on one hand, you feel like you're being attacked probably by a child or a partner, okay, from your past. And on the other hand, you know, I mean, you know that you are, you feel like you're being criticized, judged, attacked, whatever. And then on this hand, it's like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pray and hope that this goes away and really not do anything about it. But you're being called to pick yourself up Okay, you need to pick yourself up from this spot of feeling unworthy or inadequate or whatever and be grateful for this time even though it's hard. I feel like the storm is just about over and you should be really enjoying things at this time so really try to do that. I feel like once you let go of this burden, this heaviness, just let it go. Let it go. Your abundance will come back, okay? <laughs> so many of you just need to take a time out just take a time out and do the right thing for you so that you can feel healthy again so that you can feel good again so that you can and learn to appreciate things again it feels like you are have really just pushed some feelings down and you are being called to acknowledge them and go through your process of healing Really try to blend them. Really take a time out. Step back and focus on your future. Maybe it's just time to step back and focus on you. 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 That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you have too many demands and responsibilities and you're trying to, to just bury some of them instead of blending them together. You know, you really are going to have to um, stand up for yourself. And sometimes standing up for yourself is, is taking a time out. I need to take a time out. And that's what I see. It's like I need, I, you guys are maybe going through a huge crisis. Maybe it's even a midlife crisis where you need to learn to love yourself again and be happy with your own self, be happy with your independence and really show somebody that 
you're an independent thinker. You're an independent doer. I can do this on my own. I'm just fine. Thank you very much. You know, I feel like there is a lesson that you're learning, but it's not quite learned yet because this world card is reversed. So it tells me that you're on the verge of learning a huge lesson. But I think this huge lesson has to do with you not bearing emotions, not allowing things to be hidden and acknowledging the truth of situations and taking care of yourself. And when you can really love yourself independently, your happiness is not reliable on someone else. Okay, When your happiness does not rely on someone else, that's when this world card will flip over. This world card is a lesson learned. Okay, but because it's reversed, it's like you haven't learned the lesson yet because you haven't stood up for yourself. This is the sign of Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But in this reading, it's you. And it's telling you to stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. I really want to keep those cards in here. Um... I'll move them after. I'll move those cards after. I want you to be able to zoom this in a little bit more. Anyway, <laughs> it's time for you to be honest with yourself. I feel like you guys have been mentally restless, okay? There's a lot of intensity here, and it's there's lack of emotional growth. There's lack of, of growth within a relationship, whether it's with a child or with a partner. And I think there's lack of growth because somebody's feeling like they're attacked, they're feeling too criticized, feeling too judged, and you may be letting that happen. And instead of standing up for yourself, you're letting somebody judge you, you're letting somebody criticize you because you feel like you're just going to pretend this isn't happening, I'm going to push these feelings down. And in this reading, I see you're being called to stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Take a time out. Think about how you're going to handle this and then do it. Do it. Once you do it, a big heavy heaviness that you've been carrying around will be released once you stand up for yourself. There's lack of confidence, lack of self-worth, lack of, lack of self-esteem here. Right over the seven of wands reversed. Somebody's bringing you down, Gemini. Somebody is really bringing you down. And it's time for you to use your sword. It's time for you to use your power. To remove this obstacle from, from your eyesight, from your whatever. It's time for you to remove the obstacle. Because all it brings you is heartache, pain, grief. But through heartache, pain, and grief brings true growth. And that's what you're getting. In the end, in the end, you are going to be abundant because of this, even though you don't see it now. I feel like right now you're feeling very unloved. You're feeling very um, detached. You're feeling very unhappy about a situation that is breaking your heart. And I think for many of you, <clears throat> it has to do with a child. But for some of you, it's somebody from your past. And I just feel like it's really time for you to let go of this disappointment. And invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Okay? It really is time for you to invest in yourself. Go through your, your time out. Take the time to reflect. What do you want for yourself? Is this what you want? <clears throat> You may be starting to give up, okay, on something. And, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to give up on something. All right? I feel like you, you've you been trying not to go down a different road. You've been trying to make something work out. You've been trying to keep things together. But it's not working. And now I feel like you're on thin ice. 
And you're definitely very detached. It's like, I'm feeling very detached. I'm feeling quite cold at this time. Um, maybe you are dealing with somebody who is blackmailing you emotionally. And it's time for you to release, but you're not. You're holding on to something that is quite controlling. I think you've got somebody in your life that is really bringing you down, belittling you, criticizing you, judging you. <clears throat> um, like I said, there's a lot of... Uh, somebody's taking advantage of you, put it that way. And you are being called to stand up for yourself. All right? This person is affecting your... Your mental it's your mental uh, ability to thrive, okay? I really feel like you have to let something go. There's something huge that you need to let go with this Ten of Wands right here. And it's right next to you. This is you in this reading. Somebody who really wants to enjoy the finer things in life but can't because they got the, like this big, huge burden, this big, huge heaviness. And it feels like there's some, a lot of manipulation here. So there's some kind of manipulation where you're being manipulated, blackmailed, emotionally blackmailed, emotionally. And I feel like there's a lot of belittling here and you don't, you don't want to give up. Okay, you don't want to give up on somebody, but it's too heavy for you. It's really weighing you down. It's, it's making you unhealthy. You may be feeling even ill at this time because you're, this is very unhealthy. It's time for a change. It's time to let something go so that you can be happy and healthy again. Okay, so that you can be abundant. You need to let something go. You do. You need to. You need to go down a new path. But you're you're just holding on to something, not going down a new path. And I feel like you do need to let your friends help you. There is a reason for this, because there's this is bringing you some true growth, even if it hurts. I feel like there's something that hurts, and you're holding on to it because it could be a child. It could be a child, and it could, or it's a partner from your past. You're holding on to something, but I feel like there's some addictions here, and you're you just don't know what to do. You don't know what to handle it. You don't know how to handle it. And I think the best way to handle it is for you to take a time out and to step back and focus and figure out what your next step is. Really take time out, and I mean I don't mean just an hour. Take some time out to focus on your truth. You're being offered the power right here. You're being offered this awakening. This is a wake-up call as well. You are being offered the ability to use your own power to speak up for yourself and speak the truth and do the right thing for you. Okay? You're being offered this ability right now. But in order to do that, you're going to have to let something go that is very, very heavy. You've got something heavy that you are carrying around with you that doesn't serve you. It's affecting your beauty. It's affecting your health. It's affecting your self-esteem. All right? I really feel like it's time for you to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself, Gemini. And if you have kids and you need a time out, let your friends help you. Because it's really time for you to find your life's purpose. Do you know what you're here to do? If you don't, then it's definitely time. For you to find your life's purpose, don't you think? It's definitely time for a time out. Time to reflect. You can't bury your feelings in addictions or whatever. Addictions come in all different forms. If you don't allow yourself to heal, you will not be abundant. Everything that has happened is bringing you true growth, even if it hurts. And it's time 
to make a decision. You can't keep juggling like this forever. Who matters? You or the other person? It's decision making time. It's time to stop playing games. Are you ready for a transformation or not? Some of you aren't because that death card is reversed. You have the ability to flip that card over. It's in your hands. Literally in your hands. Your transformation, your new start, your new road, your new path, your new beginning is in your hands. It's in your hands. With death brings new life. If you let something go, you will have a new life, a transformation, but it's literally in your hands, Gemini. Maybe you need to ask your friends for help. Maybe you need a little bit of support so that you can take all the time you need to reflect. That may even include a vacation by yourself. And I'm not talking one hour. I'm thinking at least 24, 48, 36 a week, however long it takes. Somebody needs to take a step back and reflect. What is your life's purpose? Change is needed. It's time to make a decision. Is it going to be this way? Or that way. Talk to you later.